Hey, what's up, you guys? Putting a hitch on your Kia Nero can take you, your family, and friends to some really fun places like camping, trail bike riding, can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and work through this hitch together. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Okay, so before we get started, the, the hitch that we are installing does require fascia trimming right in the center here. I'm about three inches deep, about two and a half inches wide here. Um, the hitch will fit snug inside your cut. There are other hitches out there in the market that do sit below that, um, but you are closer to the ground about two, about two inches. So um, we want to be up higher so that uh, we're not scraping the ground and, and the bike rack that we're going to be installing on this vehicle does not uh, scrape the ground either. It's a little bit higher above the ground. So, Okay, so our first step to getting this hitch installed is going to be to lower the exhaust here. And the exhaust is held up by uh, three hangers in the back here. And we're going to go ahead and lower those three hangers. We've got one here. Okay, and then we have an exhaust hanger here down the middle. That's our second one. And then our third one is going to be on the passenger side here. I'll be taking the strap and I'm just going to wrap it around the exhaust and the support beam here. Okay, we're on the driver's side here, and this is our rubber exhaust hanger. We're just gonna take the lower rod out, and to do that, um, you, you can try to muscle it out or use a pry bar and pry it out of its position. Today I'll be using um, some exhaust pliers. I'm also gonna spray this area with some soapy water so that it slides off nice and easy. Okay, now we're gonna go to the one down the center here. Spray both sides with some soapy water. Take our exhaust pliers. Just set it right off, just like that. And now the last one here on the passenger side. Okay, it looks like I have a little bit of a tight space here, so I'm just gonna try and muscle it out with my hand. There we go. Okay, I've got the exhaust lowered down to a good level here. Now our next step is to take down the underbody paneling on the driver's side up here and on the passenger side up here. And that's just gonna require a, a flathead screwdriver. And uh, the instructions call for a 10 millimeter socket, but I just tested it and um, ours is gonna be a 15 millimeter socket. So, okay, there's gonna be three of these push pin rivets. Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and start taking those out. There's a little slot in the side of them here, and I'm just going to put my flathead in there and wiggle around, and you see it pops right out. And we can just pull straight down, put it aside. And we'll keep that step on all three rivets here. Here, it's just a plastic nut and you can probably get it with your hand, yeah. I'm just gonna take my socket, put it up in there and just spin it off. I don't have a tool or anything, just using my hands here to um, loosen it down. So, and there we go. Okay, now that we have all, all of our hardware that was holding the underbody paneling up removed, it's just pulling it down, so, just like that. We'll set that aside. We're gonna repeat the same step on the uh, driver's side here. Okay, again with our push pin fasteners removed. Um, we'll go ahead and take the nut off. The only difference on this, on the driver's side, is that it has two nuts rather than one, so. Okay, 
Okay, now that we have our underbody paneling removed, it, it has ex exposed the hitch attachment points in the frame. And I'll go ahead and show that to you here and point that out. Um, this is the bottom of your frame on the passenger side. The hitch will actually be on the side of the frame up here. And there's a pre-threaded nut inside the frame here. And then one towards the back. Okay, and it's gonna be identical on the driver's side. The hitch will be mounted to the side of the frame in this existing weld nut here and one towards the rear back here. Okay, our next step is gonna to be to trim the lower fascia here. Um, we have to find our center point. It's gonna be this indention right here. So it's the third one in on both from either side. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Um, you can take your measurements from here or you can use the hitch as a template to make measurements. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video today is just putting the hitch up, putting one bolt and then raising it up and I'll be able to make my marks and then cut three inches deep into there. Um, let me go ahead and show you how we're gonna do that. Before I put the hitch up, I do wanna point out that um, this fascia is double walled. Um, you have the outer fascia here and the the inner fascia. fascia. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a shot of that. Um, you can see that there is a support brace here that we're going to just unclip and we're gonna try and cut around it. Um, if it gets in our way, I'm gonna just completely remove it. And that, that seems pretty simple. There's just a little uh, clip right at the top where my f finger is bouncing up and down here. And then also right up inside here, there's a Phillips screwdriver that we're gonna remove and the whole, the whole bright brace come out but I'm gonna try to avoid doing that. I'm gonna try and cut around it. We'll see how that works out. I have a flathead screwdriver again, and we're just gonna put it right on the top of the clip here, and just wiggle back and forth until it comes loose, and then we'll just be able to pull it straight up, out. Just like that. And then you can see this portion here is just kinda held in. We'll go ahead and pry that out. Now we'll just go ahead and pry this portion clip out. So now we're loose from that brace here and we'll just go ahead and try to cut around it. So today I'm gonna to be using U-Haul's exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, it'll be a good idea to get an extra set of hands. Um, it can be a little bit heavy. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the hardware um, that's provided with the hitch through the most forward hole on both the driver's side and passenger side. I'll leave the hardware out of the most rear. That'll allow us to swing the hitch up and mark it. I, I am angling the hitch up pretty steep so I can get the most forward holes uh, lined up and I can get the provided hardware through the holes and into the existing weld nut. Um, and that'll help me hold the place, that'll help me hold the hitch into place so I can make my marks and cut. So, okay, so now that we have our hardware and the most forward holes on both the driver's side and passenger side, I can go ahead and remove my hitch jack. That'll allow me to move the hitch back and forth and uh, make my cuts. Okay, now you can see that the hitch can move up and down. So I'm just gonna hold it right up to the lower fascia. I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna mark on the outer edges of each brace here. Okay, so I have our area marked out that we want to trim. Um, today I'll be using a air saw to trim out the lower fascia. 
Um, you can use a, a cutting knife or, or just a pants off if you have one. Um, I did check our marks, uh, that, that rigid inner wall uh, behind the fascia here is going to get cut out as well. So it's, it's not really gonna be that difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Okay, we'll get that outer wall out and the inner wall. And there's our hole and our bracket that was holding that part of, the, part of the fascia up is still there in place. And I'll try to raise the hitch up and see if we need to remove that or not. So. Okay, it looks like I need to make a little bit more trimming around the edges here. It's a little bit snug. Okay, we have this area cut out now. Um, brace the hitch right into position here. You can see it goes in nice and easy. Um, we did not have to remove that bracket that's behind that fascia here, so I'm just gonna leave it in place. Um, now our last step is, is just to hold it level, take the remaining um, provided hardware by the hitch manufacturer and put it through that most rear attachment hole. Okay, put that guy in there. Now we'll put the remaining bolts on the driver's side in the most rearward hole. Okay, now we have the hitch set in place. All the hardware is in the attachment hole, so um, we'll go ahead and just torque our hardware down to spec. Okay, so we've got our torque wrench here with a 17 millimeter socket. Um, I have it set at 42 foot pounds uh, per the manufacturer's specs. Okay, the hitch is now torqued to spec. We're gonna go ahead and take our underbody paneling, put those up into place, and uh, see what trimming we have to get on those. Okay, so we're on the driver's side. Um, this is the underbody paneling that needs to go back into place. The hitch is obviously in the way, so we need to do some trimming here. Um, this is how exactly how it will go back up. And the area that needs to be cut that's in the way is here. We're gonna come down. And you can go all the way down if you want. I don't think we need to. We're gonna come across and we're gonna come up to here and then we're gonna come back up to here and we're gonna cut this area down here and then come back down just like this. And that this should go right around the hitch and fit back up. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so on my cutting, I'm gonna be using an air saw. If you don't have an air saw, some metal shears can cut right through that as well or, or a cutting knife. So. Go ahead and get right to it. take that out and that's what our trim looks like here and we can go ahead and put it back into place. Okay now we'll go ahead and just put our plastic clips nuts back in.
Okay, we're on the passenger side. We're putting the underbody paneling back up. This underbody paneling does not require trimming. It just goes right back into place. Okay. okay, so now we have the underbody paneling back into place. Now we can take our exhaust and raise it back up um, and hang it back on the exhaust hangers. I'll start here at the passenger side. Okay, and last is going to be our driver's side exhaust hanger. Looks like this guy's going to need a little bit of uh, soap and water to get it to slide over. There we go. Okay, we've got our exhaust back up and we're going to take our strap out. Okay, and that completes our hitch for the Kia Nero. Let's get it dropped down on level ground and get you some important measurements. This one is from the pinhole to the rear edge of the bumper here. That's gonna be four inches from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube. And that's gonna be 12 and a half inches. Okay, and that's it for the hitch on the Kia Nero. Um, enjoy the outdoors, have fun, be safe. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.